after right now? We're after the state mushroom. Which is? That is the morel. The morel. That's right. And where do you look for morels? Well, you look for morels in the woods, and usually you try to look for elm trees. Elm trees. And it's best to find standing dead elms. Okay. But sometimes just elms or even oaks. That's like one big, big oak one. here. Yep, and it was a big oak where we found the other ones. It was. A couple of days ago. Yep. Yeah, it was. So, we just got in the woods, yep. and look at what we found. Those are some morels right there. I haven't been here for more than five minutes walking in. Not even that. Nope. So that's a good sign. Yep. All right. So some of the attire you want to wear when you're mushroom hunting. Um, it's early in the season, but there's still ticks. So you definitely want to wear long pants, long sleeves. Hiking boots are always really nice to wear because you're out in the woods. Could get muddy. Um, don't want to wear nice shoes. Tuck them in. Yep. You want to tuck in all the everything you can. So I got my pants tucked in here. Got my shirt tucked in here. Um, gloves are really nice because morels are being is being really thick brush. So you gotta watch out for your buckthorn and your strawberry pellants. Um, and then we always use mesh bags when we're looking for morels, so that when you find a morel, you can put them in this bag, and then the spores will fall through these little holes and hopefully you'll come back and there'll be even more morels next year. Um, I always wear a hat. If it's sunny out I always got sunglasses. Um, some guys will use a knife to cut the base of the morels off but what we've been doing lately is just twisting them off because it's a little bit easier and quicker. That's about all you need for you know a good day of morel hunting. Just kind of grab it at the base, twist off. Let's see. Okay. Looks like one of them just fell over already. Twist that one off and put it in your palm there. Okay. Now these are yellow ones. Right? These are yellows. Yep. These are yellow and gray. About medium sized yellows. And, and like then, you just saw, there was a clump of three of them where you find one, you usually find a couple more. So, what are you going to do around this tree? I'm not going to move because. A lot of times you'll step on them, but you just scan around where you found one, and usually you find a couple more. And use a use a branch to kind of move brush around and twigs yep. and leaves and. Yeah. Yep. Anything you can do to kind of move the underbrush around. Okay. Let's keep looking. Let's keep going. Alright, so now that we've picked the mushrooms, it's time for my favorite part, eating them. So, what first thing you're going to do is you're going to take them home, and they're going to be somewhat dirty because they've been in the woods, so what we always do is we, we wash them out, make sure there's no bugs, no dirt, no nothing, and it just, you know, cleans them and makes sure you don't get sick from anything. After that, what you do is you take them and put them on a cutting board, and kind of just cut them in half. That just allows you to, you know, feed more people and you can have more morels that way. And after you have them all cut in half, sometimes we just cut them in half as we go. But the uh, general stuff you want to have to bake them, you want to have a medium sized pan and you want it on medium heat. You're going to pour a little bit of vegetable oil in there. And with the oil, you put about a teaspoon of butter in there. And you kind of cut that up and then as it's melting you kind of stir it around. And then for kind of a batter, you just use some regular, you know, all-purpose flour. Mix that up with some ground black pepper. And then we use some Lori seasoned salt, but you can really use kind of whatever you want. The morel basically takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it with. So we like, we like kind of crispy, that's the way we like it, and then with the oil flavor. If you have them cut up, then you can put them in the batter and kind of mix them around in there, get them nice and battered up. You don't have to put anything on them to batter them, you just need to put this on there because they're probably going to be a little bit wet 
the way they are. After you batter them up pretty good, you can take them and lay them in your oil and butter mix. Like that. And then we'll come back when they're ready to be eaten. Alright, so once you have the morels kind of looking like this, looking a little crispy on the side, looking kind of a little more golden, you can take them out and get a little oil off and then put them on a paper towel on top of a plate. Do that with all these. Okay, so now we've let them sit for a couple minutes. They're nice and pretty mildly warm. Now you can enjoy them. Mmm.